Today we're taking a look at the St. Louis Blues vs. Colorado Avalanche match, which is happening on Wednesday, April 14, 2021, and giving you my betting tips and predictions in general on this game. Welcome back to High Stakes, let's get straight into it. Also, don't forget to subscribe to get notified as soon as we release these sport prediction videos. The West has basically split into two separate divisions. There's the race at the top of the set for the number one seed between Colorado and Vegas, and then there's the scramble for the fourth playoff spot between St. Louis, Arizona, San Jose, and Los Angeles. Minnesota, which sits comfortably in third place, is kind of caught in no man's land. The Colorado Avalanche carried a win-now mentality right up to the NHL trade deadline, and the moves they made toward adding depth to their roster has them building for the playoffs. Next up for the West Division leaders is a Wednesday night visit to the St. Louis Blues. We believe in our group. We believe in the players that we have, Avalanche General Manager Joe Sackick said Monday after adding more depth before the NHL trade deadline. Their expectations are to win, and our one goal is to win the Stanley Cup, and that's what we're going for. Sackick reacquired center Carl Soderberg from the Chicago Blackhawks, and defenseman Patrick Nemeth, from the Detroit Red Wings. He also added goaltending insurance by acquiring Devin Dubnik in a trade with the San Jose Sharks. So here is my first betting suggestion for that game. The Avalanche have been outstanding throughout the whole current campaign, deservedly earning the right to be bookies' favorites to land the Stanley Cup this year, plus 400. They have lost just three of their past 19 fixtures, with the top line of Gabriel Landeskog, Nathan McKinnon and Miko Rantanen combining for a whopping 96 points, 41 goals, 55 assists, in 24 contests since the start of March. The Blues, on the other hand, are merely trying to squeeze themselves into the fourth playoff spot of the West Division. I get the case that can be made for both sides as Colorado's the better team and St. Louis is a better team than how they performed for much of the season. However, the Blues just have a hard time winning games at home and sustaining that momentum the odd time they actually do win. My first betting advice for that game is to pick Colorado minus 172. Colorado is on a three-game winning streak. They won their last game 4-2 against the Arizona Coyotes. Miko Rontanen scored two goals. Nathan McKinnon and Kale Macker each had two points. Philip Grubauer was sharp in net, stopping 35 out of 37 shots faced. Goalie Philip Grubauer turned aside 35 shots on Monday to take his current performance tally to 25-8-1 for the year with a 2.00 GA and a .920 save percentage. He has registered a 4-4-2 previous total against the St. Louis Blues with a 2.79 GA and a .898 save percentage. The Avalanche, meanwhile, are netting the absolute highest quantity of goals per game this season, 3.57, while allowing the second lowest amount on the defensive end, 2.31. The team is 8th in power play with a 23.4% success rate and 6th in penalty kill with 83.7% proficiency. Offense has been on fire for the AVS lately. They have scored 3 goals or more in 7 out of the last 9 games. The team ranks first in goals per game, shots per game, and scoring efficiency ratio, and ninth in shooting percent. Nathan McKinnon leads the team with 52 points. He has at least one point in 10 straight games. McKinnon is fifth in points and fourth in assists in the league. Miko Rodinen is second in goals and is sixth in points in the NHL. Samuel Girard is sixth in points and is tied for fourth in assists among defensemen in the league. Colorado's offense has been outstanding all season. Defense and goaltending have been excellent for the Avalanche this season. They have given up two goals or less in six out of the last nine games. The team ranks second in goals against per game, first in shots against per game, and ninth in opponent shooting percent and save percent. Philip Grubauer has a 25-8-1 record with a 2.00 GA and a .920 SV percent. He is tied for fourth in GA and is tied for first in shutouts among goalies in the NHL. The Avalanche are strong Stanley Cup contenders. 
the St. Louis Blues, 1916-6, recorded three consecutive victories after beating the Minnesota Wild with a 3-2 overtime score at Enterprise Center on Saturday. Mike Hoffman, 11 goals, 23 points this year, tied the game twice in regulation, forcing the extra session with a 2-2 equalizer at 19-18 of the third frame before Ryan O'Reilly, 17 goals, 39 points, buried the winner with just two seconds remaining in the bonus period. Vince Dunn, 5 goals, 17 points, assisted on all three markers of the Blues, who had lost seven consecutive games, 0-6-1, prior to the current winning streak. Offense has been trending in the wrong direction for the Blues. They have scored two goals or less in seven out of their last 10 games. The team ranks 16th in goals per game, 13th in shots per game, 17th in scoring efficiency ratio, and 15th in shooting percent. David Perrin leads the team with 40 points on the season. Not far behind him is linemate Ryan O'Reilly with 39 points. Defense and goaltending have struggled for St. Louis this season. They have given up three goals or more in five out of their last 10 games. The team ranks 21st in goals against per game, 15th in shots against per game, and 26th in opponent shooting percent and save percent. Jordan Bennington has a record of 12-11-5 with a 2.65 GA and a .910 SV percent. Goalie Vilhasso stopped 28 shots on Saturday to take his current performance status to 7-5-1 for the season with a 3.43 GAA and a .887 save percentage. Jordan Bennington, 12-11-5 on the year with a 2.65 GAA and a .910 save percentage though is expected back in the crease for St. Louis on Wednesday having already posted a 4-4-0 career record against the Colorado Avalanche with a 3.32 GA and a .888 save percentage. The Blues, meanwhile, are 16th in most goals scored per game during the ongoing campaign, 2.85, 11th in most goals conceded on average, 3.07, 23rd in power play, 18.5%, and 26th in penalty kill, 76.2%. So here is my second betting suggestion for that game. The Avalanche are 8 to 3 in their last 11 road games and 47 to 22 in their last 69 overall. The Blues are 7 to 19 in their last 26 home games and 5 to 12 in their last 17 overall. The over is 11 to 5 in Avalanche last 16 overall. The under is 7-2 in Blues last 9 overall. The Avalanche are 7-22 in the last 29 meetings in St. Louis and 6-1 in last 7 meetings. The home team is 36-15 in the last 51 meetings. The favorite is 39-17 in the last 56 meetings. The St. Louis Blues will be out to build on their 3-2 win over the Minnesota Wild last time out. David Perrin leads the Blues in scoring with 40 points including 13 goals and a team-high 27 assists while Ryan O'Reilly has 39 points with a team-high 17 goals and 22 assists. Braden Shen, Jordan Kiru and Mike Hoffman all have double-digit goal and assist tallies as well this season. As a team, St. Louis is averaging 2.9 goals on 30 shots with an 18.1% success rate on the PP while allowing 3.1 goals on 29.9 shots against with a 78.6% success rate on the park this season. The Colorado Avalanche look for a win after winning 8 of their last 9 games. The Colorado Avalanche are averaging 3.6 goals per game and are scoring on 23.4% of their power play opportunities. Miko Rontanen leads Colorado with 25 goals, Nathan McKinnon has 35 assists and Nazim Kadri has 135 shots on goal. Defensively, the Colorado Avalanche are allowing 2.3 goals per game and are killing 84% of their opponent's power plays. Philip Grubauer has allowed 67 goals on 840 shots faced and Hunter Miska has allowed 18 goals on 111 shots. My second betting advice for that game is to pick under 6. And now here are some stats and notable trends. Blues are 1-4 in their last 5 when their opponent allows 2 goals or less in their previous game. 
Blues are 0-6 in their last 6 in the 4th game of a 4-6 situation. St. Louis is 5-12 in their last 17 games. Avalanche are 5-0 in their last 5 after allowing 2 goals or less in their previous game. Avalanche are 4-0 in their last 4 in the 3rd game of a 3-4 situation. Avalanche are 6-1 in their last 7 games following a win. Good luck to all of you. That's it for this video. Stay tuned and stay safe for the next betting tips and advice.